Hello friends, uh, in this video I am going to solve problems uh, on first law of thermodynamics applied to open system. So in this problem uh, a blower handles 1 kg per second of air which is at 20 degree Celsius and consumes a power of 15 kilowatt. The inlet and outlet velocities of air are 100 meter per second, 150 meter per second respectively. Find the exit air temperature assuming adiabatic conditions. Take uh, Cp of air as 1.005 kJ per kg Kelvin. So uh, here uh, blower is an open system which handles uh, 1 kg per second of air. So that is a mass flow rate uh, that is W1 that is equal to W2 that is equal to W. It is 1 kg per second uh, that inlet temperature of the air uh, is uh, 20 degree Celsius which consumes power of 15 kilowatts so that uh, W uh, x is uh, minus 15 kilowatt the inlet and outlet velocities of air are 100 meter per second and 150 meter per second respectively. So capital V1 is uh, 100 meter per second and then the capital V2 that is velocity at exit is uh, 150 meter per second. Find the exit air temperature. So here exit air temperature is uh, T2 that is equal to question 1 that is to be calculated assuming adiabatic conditions that means uh, here heat interacted uh, uh, with the surroundings is 0 and uh, uh, here uh, we have to take Cp as uh, 1.005 uh, kilojoules per kg Kelvin. So here uh, in this case uh, uh, the temperature of the air increases due to uh, the generation of heat uh, uh, due to the compression of the air uh, with uh, consuming power of 15 kilowatt that the Q generated can be calculated using the formula mass flow rate W into specific heat of air Cp into T2 minus uh, T1. Here uh, mass flow rate W that is known uh, 1 kg per second, Cp is also given 1.005 kJ per kg Kelvin and then T1 uh, is given 20 degree Celsius. If we calculate Q generated from that we can calculate uh, T2. To find out this uh, Q generated that is, uh, uh, that is nothing but uh, Q generated is uh, final enthalpy H2 minus initial enthalpy H1. See this H2 minus H1 can be calculated uh, by applying the given data in the uh, steady flow energy equation that is uh, H1 plus uh, V1 square divided by 2 plus uh, GZ1 plus uh, Q divided by small w equal to H2 plus V2 square divided by 2 plus uh, GZ2 plus Wx divided by small w that is mass flow rate. Then H1, uh, let us take it as it is, plus V1 square, uh, here V is 100 is 100 square divided by 2 plus uh, here G is 9.81 into Z1 uh, here uh, uh, Z1 equal to Z2 so let us take it as Z1 uh, plus uh, since it is uh, a diabetic condition uh, that is Q by W is uh, 0 uh, that is equal to H2 plus uh, V2 square it is uh, 150 square divided by 2 plus uh, G is 9.81 Z2 
equal to z1 it is uh, assumed uh, plus uh, uh, wx uh, it is uh, minus 50 into 10 power 3 divided by uh, w uh, it is uh, 1 kg per second divided by 1 so uh, here uh, z1 equal to z1 on the right hand side because z1 is equal to z2 so we will have uh, h2 minus uh, h1 that is equal to q generated that is equal to 8750 watt now let us substitute this 8750 watt on the cp as 1.005 into 10 power 3 and t1 as 20 degree celsius from that we can calculate t2 so this will be 8750 equal to mass flow rate uh, w is 1 into 1.005 into 10 power 3 into t2 minus uh, t1 is 20 degree celsius so the value of uh, t2 is uh, 28 .70 degree celsius the temperature of air at the exit is 28 degree celsius for that let's have the next problem in which uh, turbine operates under steady flow conditions receiving steam at the following state pressure 1.2 megapascals uh, temperature 188 degree celsius enthalpy 2785 kilojoules per kg velocity is 33 meter per second and elevation uh, it is 3 meter is uh, these are all the values at the uh, inlet the steam leaves the turbine at the following state uh, that is pressure is 20 kilopascals enthalpy it is 2512 kilojoules per kg and its velocity is 100 meter per second and the elevation is 0 meters heat lost to the surroundings uh, at the rate of uh, 0.29 kilojoules per second if the rate of steam flow through the turbine is 0.42 kg per second what is the power output of the turbine in kilowatt so at inlet pressure is uh, P1 that is uh, 1.2 megapascals and temperature uh, T1 is uh, 188 degree Celsius and enthalpy H1 is uh, 2785 kilojoules and its velocity capital V at inlet that is V1 is uh, 33.3 meter per second and elevation uh, of 3 meters so here uh, Z1 is uh, 3 meters steam leaves the turbine at the following state uh, so at the exit uh, its uh, values are uh, uh, like this at uh, exit P2 is uh, 20 kilopascals and uh, its enthalpy H2 is uh, 2512 kilojoules per kg and its velocity V2 is uh, 100 meter per second and elevation uh, that is uh, Z2 is 0 meters. Heat lost to the surroundings uh, at the rate of uh, 0.29 kilojoules per second. So here uh, Q it is lost to the surroundings it is uh, minus 0.29 kilojoules per second 
and uh, rate of steam flow through the turbine that is uh, small w is equal to 0 0.42 kg per second what is the power output of the turbine in kilowatt so what is w x that is to be calculated so to find out the w x uh, let us directly apply steady flow energy equation steady flow energy equation for turbine uh, can be uh, written as uh, h1 plus uh, v1 square divided by 2 plus uh, g into z1 plus uh, q divided by small w that is equal to h2 plus uh, v2 square divided by 2 plus uh, gz2 plus uh, wx divided by small w mass flow rate of steam. So here uh, h1 uh, is uh, already given it is 27 Eight five kilojoules. It is uh, two seven eight five into ten power three plus B one. It is uh, thirty three point three square divided by two V one square plus uh, G is nine point eight one into Z one. It is uh, three meters plus here heat is lost to the surroundings so it is uh, minus 0 0.29 divided by w mass flow rate it is uh, 0 0.42 kg per second that is equal to h2 is uh, 2512 kilojoules per kg so it is uh, into 10 power 3 joules per uh, kg then uh, plus uh, uh, it is uh, uh, V2, it is 100 meter per second, so it is 100 square uh, divided by 2 plus G is 9.81 into 0 uh, plus uh, Wx that is to be calculated divided by mass flow rate is uh, 0.42 is 0.42 kg per second. So after uh, solving this equation, we will have uh, uh, Wx uh, in kilowatt uh, that is uh, 112.515 kilowatt. So the turbine output. Uh, is uh, 112.515 kilowatt.